Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. We are not the first alliance of men and elves to challenge Sauron within Mordor. No, but we shall be the last. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going here. In victory or defeat, my people will diminish. That's a that's a good way to put that, but also um, I think that's a very intentional use of the phrase because I think diminish and diminishment is even let me just uh, diminishment like the elves will diminish and go into the west. I feel like that's talked about in Shadow of Mordor, you know, Shadow of Mordor, Lord of the Rings, that book that everyone likes, Shadow of Mordor. Um, I took a quick break in between this episode and the last. Um, crank that. I took out the trash. I thought about having some coffee. Maybe I'll have some later. Hell yeah. I feel like... I feel like he needs a little more definition. You know, sometimes I look at his face and his face just looks a little soft. Whoops. Wait, did I not want that? Whoops. Hunter needs a deadly mount. Careful. This one's ready for lunch. Right, bullfighting. Get out of the way, Shaggy. Um Yeah, I feel like there's a lot in this game that is actually carried by the texture. Like Torvin looks cool, but some of it is because of the cool texture of his tattoos. And his body hair and his scars. You know, it can tell a lot of story that way. That's sweet. However short that is. I assume you know the path. The real question is, um, <clears throat> are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think whoa. Let me turn them down. With Torben Doom. Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. WWTD. training sticks. Or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty crowd holds you there. Okay, you're trying to do your little poetic thing, but it's not working out this hard. Fight. No art. No finesse. The hunt isn't about swinging. Yeah, I feel like a lot of why Torvin looks cool is because of the texture of him. I feel like his actual model maybe isn't as awesome. And I feel like a little bit more uh, uh, face tech is needed for some of the cutscenes because I'm just noticing that some of the cutscenes are just a little. And the deadliest by far. You know, a little wax facey, a little plasticky. Since I faced this crowd. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Graug from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Possible reference to the Lord of the Rings and Gimli getting caught underneath a warg. I don't want to be like, guys, look, it's Lord of the Rings, but like this game also does, guys, look, it's Lord of the Rings so many times. Like, like with Celebrimbor quoting things that haven't been said yet. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I've been hunting this crowd for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. What are you going to do after it? Because there's a whole different book about this. Oh, that's funny, Captain. to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty will I don't know if Torvin comes back in the sequel. I didn't see him in any of the trailers. Yeah, like, to be honest, I saw the trailers for Shadow of War, and then I bought Shadow of Mordor, because I, I knew that it had import save. And I was like, oh, work, because that's cool. Which reminds me, I need to remember to not delete my save file. Too quiet. I don't think the crowd is home. Then we go in and we wait. Ambush. How military. I like it. Slap him on the ass. You know, give him one of those. Uh, but yeah, like, I... Because that's the thing. 
they were like, ooh, buy Shadow of War. It's on sale. And I actually was working at a grocery store when it was coming out. And so people would buy, like, Totino's brand pizza rolls and, like, those shitty, awful, like, uh, little square pizzas. It's an X. That's just as sharp as a day our father made it. <laughs> Dwarves be brothers. Like, almost all the guys in The Hobbit are, are uh, brother dwarves. Got a war, the dwarves are all brothers. It's a whole thing. Caliburmor looks like kind of pretty here. That's Sauron in his form as Anatar, Lord of Gifts. It's weird seeing an elf with grime on them, you know? For those of you who can't place this melody, I'm pretty sure that this is the poem carved into the One Ring. Unless I'm wrong, because... I'm trying to remember it as well. But yeah, one thing that's always kept consistent in the movies is that, like, Legolas in particular, because he's always getting in fights. Um, but all of the elves never get dirty. So, like, the dwarves, you know, Aragorn and the hobbits will always get all manner of grime and mud and blood all over them. It's even a bit with Gimli of him getting, like, messy or kicked or whatever, beat up. Um, and, like, even Gandalf, you know, who is essentially an animal, has mud on his cape. <laughs> Irony. Yeah, that's a pretty spiky, uh, growl. Um, but yeah, like, even Gandalf, pretty notorious of a fella will still have a very muddy cape you'll notice history repeats itself let's just do this to be said rule number 1 we improvise we improvise it's too strong i must attack from afar wow that was a lot of my health think about Cool. Whoops. Oh man, and we're dealing with ghouls too. Can't eat dead food, that's disgusting. Yeah, get him. Spit on him. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, I'm out of focus. That's my problem. But yeah, anyway, it's a very weird sight to see a, a dirty elf. And, like, Celebrimbor is pretty much unlike any other elf. Like, even Elrond's a pretty good guy when it comes down to it. Elrond's a dick, but he's, like, he's not a villain. Celebrimbor's like a villain. I need some of that. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think we're getting much done there. Gonna do your roaring charge. Bring it on. Hmm.
There we go. I got attacked. That's okay. Yeah, so it's very weird to see an elf that's dirty, but it's also, like, kind of appreciable. Because, like, oh shit, that's something that's totally new that's never happened before. That's weird. And, like, that's a, that's a good way to get across that, like, this is particularly of note and unusual, you know? Fuck, oh, damn it. Can you guys fuck off, please? We have a common enemy here. That was a bad plan, I think. Maybe not. The problem was just that I... Yeah, it just wasn't near a thing. Oh yeah, bring it in. Perfect. Last little bit. Yeah, figures. I wonder if you're on easy, if you can just, like, blow through them. Did a little grappling. That was kind of cute and funny. What I want is this. Thank you. Okay. Need another order of that. in cover. Can I can I have this please? Thank you. Alright, last cycle I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't actually know where Graugs come from. I don't even know where the word Graug originates. Like, in the lore. Oh yeah, bring it on. But obviously trolls are, are very well known. But there's a, a lot talked about how like, ooh, Saruman's made new trolls that don't get uh, dry in the sun, you know? Yeah! Tag team! I wish I was possessed with this guy, not Kellerimbor. So cool. I love when you have a, a sword and like the animal is so big that like you have to like just drag it like a paintbrush. You're nothing. I think he's dead. Indeed, indeed. Next time, I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh no, no. This is the last time. I have I no idea how that sword fits in there. Maybe he's got a little slit on the side. No, 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 Torben. I have to do this on my own. Oh, he just wants to be friends, you know. If you survive, come to the Blue Mountains. 
And lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. But I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. I feel like Tally needs a little something on his face. I already talked about how he has a little waxy of a face in some of these cutscenes. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe he should have like a shock of white hair. I know that it's like a little generic and like it's about as edgy as you can get. But like maybe if he had like a streak of white hair. Maybe then. These are always so quiet. Like I don't know if there's anywhere else in the game that you can hear them. But like even when I'm just like grinding off screen off screen. Like, there's, there's just, it's hard to hear those, you know? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I oh, hope my that brother. Torben finds his way home now that his hunt is over. If he does, then he will find his home is not as he left it. Why you gotta be so grim about this, dog? Come on. Lord of Mordor. Is that the last? No, it's not. I think we have to go back to Uden. Because, like, we already have so much done here. Check the army. Yeah, almost all of these guys are mine. There's only one... There's two living captains that are not under my control. We'll just sprint it, why not? So I've mentioned this a little in the past, but I personally really like Shadow of Mordor, and I wish that it was canon. I know that obviously it's tantamount to necromancy to just say, hey, this is canon, dead man. You know, like, I feel like it's impolite and incorrect to do that to somebody's work. But like, I like having a, a running version of canon in my head that is like all of the things at once, you know? I like that idea. We wish to thank you for coming to our aid, Captain. Hi. Never realized my smuggling could be so appreciated. Crank that sound. By the Queen. <laughs> Lady. They're here. I feel like queen is kind of an odd term, considering that they're also a tribe. Bad passengers. Because normally, like, queen would be, like... For a king, right? Queen, well. It's good to see you in better health. The boats are ready. Just like this ancient element potion helped restore my health. How long were those I believe the Sindar referred to it as well, Dramami. <laughs> I'm in your debt. Yeah, I think this is the, the official storyline point where we're like switching back. Just put an end to this madness. I was gonna say it'd be cool if there were like factions of orcs and like if you just mind controlled enough of a faction, then the rest of them would fall in anyway. But I think that the sequel actually does do a little more play with factions. Since this is, what is this, episode 14, 13? I think it's going up on the 18th of March. Or maybe it'll be sooner. Um, but just FYI, I do intend to come back and play the DLCs, and I also do want, uh, to play the sequel. Wash, I remember you. So yeah, this is a thing where, like, the guy who has been the most, the thorniest in your side Beyond will come back here. Beyond the dust is the man who walks with death. And his army are traitors. He has poisoned their minds and defies our Dark Lord. Join me in slaughter, brothers. Our destiny awaits. But yeah, I never had too many problems with the actual. With Christ and the earth with blood. 
But yeah, this this is the big nemesis, you know? Oh yeah. I hate you for everything you've done to me, but you cannot finish me off. But yeah, you can see that this I guy has gotten so, you. like, ruined that he's just... Yoink. And you too, how about that? You can see that this guy has gotten, like, so messed up that... He's just resorted into just having, a. Uh, Like, his head is... He doesn't have enough skin on his head in order to, like, actually carry that. The Fortress of the Black Hand. Oh, cool. He doesn't have enough skin on his head to hold all of his brains in, so now he's just down to having... Ah, this is the last thing, yeah. This is a trap. Never mind. The silence taunts us. What sorcery? I'm gonna turn the sound down. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of dialogue, so I wanted to keep it up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put it in between my, my two normal here. levels. But yeah, I wanna play the DLCs with my wife. Um I'll have her watch the LP. I'll probably watch it with her. Those I things, dang. Expecting you. Those are alive. See, their heads are turning. Well, not alive, alive, but you know. I hope my soldiers gave you a warm welcome. Where are you? Show yourself. This is the work of the tower. The black. Always interesting to have like the name, the tower. But yeah, to my knowledge, this game has an import save, so you can bring your orcs over. That looks like an uncomfortable chair. <laughs> um, so I can have all the orcs from this LP. Bow to me. I don't know how, like, big that's gonna be, like, how many orcs that'll actually be. Because, like I said, I didn't actually spend a lot of time playing this game. Like, I, I went through it pretty quickly. What Italian wasn't in on it? He was like, well, maybe we could bow a little bit. The Dark Lord forgives you, Galabrimbo. Return to him. Yeah, the Dark Lord forgives. That's Cast a sentence that goes well together. Human corpse. Stand Man, rehydrated Galabrimbo is like crazy. I'm like, I'm still thinking about like how good he looks. No need when he's not like decrepit. When he has like a cape. It looks okay, you know? Galabrimbo. Is your curse. He chose you. Silence! You're blowing he my gambit. You at any time. <laughs> okay, look. Yes, that's all you are, Ranger. Is it like Professor. a is it a rule that a video game must have a plot twist? Where your superiors betray you. It's gonna talk about war. Cause I feel like that happens a lot. Oh yeah, look! The back of his sheath is open. Well duh. As you win. It's a pretty logical way to make it actually. It's a very clever design as well. Because like yeah, it just means that you can slit it in there. What joy it is to fight such weakness. Such pain. Such a broken mind. I feel like if your ability is to like teleport around a battlefield and then you don't know where the guy you're looking for is, I feel like that's kind of a bad ability, you know? Peekaboo! Yeah, 
lot of people actually disliked this final boss as well, because I think this is the final boss. Can I just... What happens if that... Because there's a lot of mimics and duplicates around, so maybe... Peekaboo. I will say, the um, the final boss of the DLC, of the one where you play as Calibrimbor, that one's proper awesome. But yeah, this one's kind of like... Nope, I'm not here. You Somewhere else. Through the grave many times. I shall I shall, I shall, I shall. Because if, if that's a twist, then like they shouldn't have named it that. Can I? Thank you. But yeah, this is a game where like the game part of it is way more fun. Running around and riding with the orcs and getting into trouble you will is never way cooler. See your family again. Look, I don't even have to mash it, just hold it down. Though I will say, mashing it is actually kind of bad for some people because they're, um... Uh, their wrists can't support it. Ah, oh, he hit RT and Y to brutalize. I feel like he should just, like, line it up like a golf club swing, you know? Turn this up. You said we were cursed. You deceived me. It was Sauron's doing. This was your doing! I should have died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. I can't leave you. But there is only one way to close the circle. The ring circle? The black hand remains. Not for long. Health bar, guys, it's. <laughs> Kalyan killed a nobleman, Yorith. His life now belongs to God. One moment, everyone. Hey, so I remembered that this is the last, like, mission, but the thing is, is that this is two missions that rolls from one into the other. So. Uh, I'll cut this episode here because it has been about 30 ish minutes. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Um. My complaints about the final boss will hold true. Uh, the final boss is all right. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get into it later. But I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Thank you for coming. Pardon the random fan. The lappy is overheating for some reason. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.